Most people are sad when their vacation ends, but not so for this cruise gone wrong. The disabled Carnival cruise ship Triumph finally making it to port in Mobile, Alabama. The ship's more than 4,000 passengers and crew members on solid ground after a harrowing eight days adrift at sea. Fox News Caitlin Pratt has more from Mobile. Drama at sea. Uh, no restrooms and uh, not being able to have the running water. Cruise ship conditions passengers call deplorable. No heat, no air conditioner. Finally ending late Thursday as disabled ship Triumph docked. Tugboats pulling it into port after days of drifting at sea. An engine room fire took the ship's main power source Sunday. So we basically evacuated to the 11th floor, the top deck of the ship. And that's where we slept for the remaining three nights. And then last night we slept in a uh, piano lounge. Then toilet facilities failed. Very bad. It was like a hot porta potty. I was in the Peace Corps, and frankly, I spent two years with the latrine, and I thought the conditions in the Peace Corps with my latrine were better than the conditions on the boat. Pulling carry-on luggage, many dressed in white robes, passengers streamed down the gangplank so happy to be back on land. I'm going to go take a hot bath and go to sleep. <laughs> Feel good to have your feet back on the trip? It does. It does. It feels great. We, the 3,000 passengers weary, boarding buses to Texas and New Orleans, where they'll make their way home. It, it's an accident. It happened. You know, I think that they did the best they could. I mean, it's, it's hard to prepare for something that, you know, that's that bad. We're just glad to be home and get off of it. It's been a long... It's been a long seven days.